Get your ass out of there! Don't do this! Don't do this! <laughs> Since I got here, was helping you out. You have, you have, but I mean officially. I need more drivers for the cab company. I'll pay you properly. Okay, then. Just call me whenever you want to take a fare. You can do as many as you like, Nico. There are always more customers. What's wrong? Hey, cousin. Bullshit. What's bullshit? Mallory. Oh, what about her? I like her. I really like her. But you keep messing around with other women. Yeah. No. I think she's messing around with Vlad. I saw his car parked outside her place the other day. Yeah. You knew? I had suspicions. You fucking knew? What was I going to say? You knew my woman was banging this war dog and you didn't do anything? I didn't, didn't say anything? I didn't know. You're an asshole, Nico Belik! A disloyal user! After what I did for you, you dick! You fucking dick! I'm sorry! Screw you! All right, so you want me to deal with it right now? No. Sit down. No! I'm not going to stand here and have you call me disloyal. You might let some Russian asswipe bang your woman, but I won't. But you fucking did! That was before I knew you cared! You always were a hypocrite. Nico, wait! Don't do anything stupid! Wait for me! Don't do anything stupid, cousin! Nothing is stupid as letting that fat swine give it to Mallory. Hey, it happens! I, we, we have an open relationship! I do my thing, she does hers, uh, maybe next time I might watch them at it! Oh, don't watch this fat, hairy, sweaty back going up and down! I can't take it! How could she do this?! I knew you cared. I have to do this. Wait, Nico, you have to think this through. Stay out here. Let the big boys have their conversation inside. Give me a drink. Anyway, I go ahead. For capusto. That's him, no just right. Capusto, yes, it's cartoska. Hey, cartoska. Bloody boy. I'd like a word with you. What are you doing here? Did I summon you? Boy, I told you to stay away from Mallory. Go away. And now Roman is upset. Oh, Roman is upset. Excuse me. Do you think I give a fuck, peasant? Oh, there he is. Hey, fatty. I'm so sorry you're so upset. Oh, poor fucking Hey, Vlad, can't we just talk about this? You stay away from Mallory. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn for a minute this ratty little yokel told me what to do. <laughs> Did you hear that voice? Yeah. Now, get them out of here. Get back outside, woman. All right, he's running away. We win. Let's go home. I'm not walking away until this thing is finished. It is finished. He's running. We won't see him again. He'll come back. 
The only thing that will hold him down is six feet of dirt. Forget about Mallory. Plans change, and you know, when Vlad is done with her... Grow a fucking spine. You think Vlad won't come after us when I am chasing him like this? I have to end it. Here and now. Shit, I don't like this. Fuck, fuck! has crashed his car and gone. Surely that is enough. Keep your head down. I'm going to finish this. Stop! Nico! Shit! Help! Help me! You killed yourself and your cousin, Yokel. You are dead man. Fucking Yokel! You think you can get away with killing me? I guess I'll find out. You think this is worth it? You are throwing you and your fatty cousin's lives away for that bit of Puerto Rican chocha! I'm throwing your life away, prick! We'll do all right. My friends will track you down. You won't last a moment. I'll last longer than you will, shithead. Fuck you. I wish I could be there to watch Mikhail cut your peasant balls off. You've killed yourself and your cousin, Yokel. You are dead man. Mikhail falls, it's out of me. You are nothing in this city. You've killed yourself and your... Big boy, Vladdy. Nico! Uh, Nico! Well, I guess this is over. What have you done? What does it look like? We're dead! No, he's dead. We're fine. He has powerful friends. Serious people. I told you to be calm! You halted the jump! I am calm. He tried to kill us. He screwed your girlfriend. What do you expect? I give him a massage? Shit! 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 When I was in the army, we were going on a mission to ambush a squad who had killed a lot of innocent people. They were our enemies. But we never did it. There were 15 of us, all boys from the village. But one of us betrayed the group. It was a setup for money. Twelve people died, three escaped. I know the traitor was not me. So for ten years, I've been searching for the other two. One of them leaves here. Why are you telling me this now? Do you always get sentimental after you kill people? You kept asking. Wonderful! You're here on some revenge mission for something that happened ten years ago, and you don't care whose life you ruin anyway! No! Well, what? I don't know. I just want to know why they did it. Well, right now, I don't think you're going to find out. Let's hide the body, at least for a while. Put him in the river. <sighs> if you bastard is going to kill us! Shit! We should get out of here. You go. I'll catch up with you later.
Roman, I'm here. What are you doing? Why do you whisper? I am on Vesta Street. They're Perestroika. Come, Nico, quick! 